Well, uh, let's return to this series again. It's been a while. Uh, the series got a positive reception, despite the rather cringy nature of the first episode. So, uh, yeah. Let's see, what do we have from the dumpster today? I don't know if this locomotive is having an identity crisis, if it wants to be CSX or Canadian Pacific. Also, if this is still around, let me know. Okay, this is just a Springfield Terminal SC26. I don't know what y'all are on a but. Oh. Oh. It, it just has the normal patch job, except that, well, there's no logo and it has a very clean one. It... Wait. Hold on a minute. Did I literally just talk about that Dash 9, like, last episode? CP, you had one job. One fucking job for this unit. And you fucked it up. <laughs> you can tell this locomotive still wants to be owned by Norfolk Southern, despite the fact it's literally owned by CP Rail. I mean, you could still see the fucking logo bleeding through the fucking patch. That's honestly so funny. You know, this is how I remember CSX locomotives. With Times New Roman on the no- You know, people have their own favorite fallen flags. Burlington Northern, Conrail, Atlantic Coastline, the Western Pacific. But I'm like, nah, my favorite shortline has to be CIA Board Sys System. That's totally a real rare- I mean, if it was for maintenance of way work, then I could understand. But... Full yellow body? Black framing? Ugh, that's not how I remember Union Pacific. Okay, so CSX didn't want to paint the whole unit. Bit of an odd patch shot, but okay. Also, is that a Grand Trunk Western? Okay, this is just a ex Southern Pacific Jeep. I mean, there's nothing really a whole lot to say. I mean, yes, it's covered in graffiti, but aside from that, I think it's fine. Oh, what the fu- NS, I know I've talked about your Dash 9s in the last episode, but god damn it. How many times are you purposely gonna fuck up your own units? I mean, hold on. Is this unit still even around? I mean, oh my god. It's still around today, and it has that ugly-ass cab number! What the fu- Okay, this just looks like a normal CSX Jeevo. I don't see anything odd about it. I mean, what's there to- ah! Not gonna lie, I kinda dig those white stripes there. It makes the unit stand out. So instead of repainting the unit, you instead decide to throw another lazy patch job. Western Maryland, I know I love your railroad, and your steam locomotives are definitely cool, but what the fuck? Unusual concepts, I will say. I mean, we got some freshly painted H2s and a vanilla BNSF-9. I'm gonna pretend like that thing doesn't exist. They got the right idea for delivery, but something feels off. Maybe revise the scheme a bit? Okay, now you fixed it, but... We already get it's a CSX locomotive, but don't overinflate the te- <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> oh, look, there's some fresh Santa Fe war bonnet. One job, CSX! One fucking job! Alright, I mean, I don't see what's wrong with it. I mean, number boards are a bit funky, but. Oh, they just didn't highlight the text. Okay. Bit of an interesting hybrid, I will say, all things considered, and. Uh, wait, why is it pulling Union Pacific cars? <laughs> wait, they're kidnapping him! Someone call the fucking police! There's a kidnap! You know, I don't think this is normal. Something is off with it. BNSF, I know that nowadays you tend to be a blessing, despite that high vez policy, but... What are you on? Okay, so CSX thought this was a good idea to leave this livery like this with some of the most basic ass font on the fucking nose, and they thought it was so good, throw it on the front of an OCS train with two coaches and an F40 just because. What were CSX's standards back then? I I genuinely want to know. You know, CSX is probably the best class one railroad nowadays. I mean, they tend to have a more variety roster. So I mean, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to film CSX. You know, I don't know what I would consider bad. Bashing modern Norfolk Southern or questioning CSX's quality control. Uton bait. Also, I didn't know we had freight cars on this series. I know the TP and W was affiliated with the Santa Fe. But you would think that the railroad wouldn't want to try and copying the way the Santa Fe looks, right? It's just a prime job. It's just a prime job. It's not the final product. BNSF is better than that. It's just a prime job. 
Okay, that prime job's actually interesting, but uh, it's just a prime job, though. I mean, as long as the livery isn't that bad. Okay, actually, it isn't too bad. I mean, a H3 Triclops is actually kind of baller. I mean, surely it's still operating on BNSF. Oh. Oh, wait. No. 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 Norfolk Southern, you can't do this. Please. It's a good unit. No. 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 And, uh, <laughs> and at least we still have Triclops left in service on BNSF.